got, you start with an oval shape. Like this, kind of an egg shape. Three parts long, about two parts wide. You've got like this scalpel that comes down through the middle, kind of a central axis line. So you have this line that you just put right through the center. Then you've got this cross line that comes in there. Boom, like this. Now the guy on the video you're gonna to see tomorrow or the next day, he's gonna turn the head, show a three quarter view. I'm gonna show you a straight on view, but he's gonna to add to it here and I'll show you that when, when, he did, when he gets to it. Then you would take, you'd put the eyes in here and the nose, you know, and so on. So that's a real common technique there, you'll see. Uh, another one with that technique that you'll see a lot is the um, kind of a superhero type technique. And this is also one of the, again, the video's techniques. So you start same with the same oval, but you're gonna do a curved line for that central axis line. It's gonna curve like this. So if you're drawing Spider-Man or a superhero, this would be how you would do it. Okay, so you're gonna curve the lines. There's gonna be two lines this time. You're gonna curve those as well. So you're gonna start like this, and then you're gonna start in, again, the eyes, nose, and you know, so on. So that's, again, that little curved looks a little more of the superhero effect, okay? So that's one. Um, now, there's another technique you, you can use with just a box, a square, you can put an X through it. You can do um, a technique like that. I'm gonna show you the next one, one other one before we get to the, the one we're gonna do. And this one is kind of the skull technique here that you would use if you were drawing this, or not necessarily this, but it's just kind of a technique to draw the actual face. This one, you start with a circle. You start with a big circle like that, and then you find the center of that circle. Boom. You just eyeball it. You're not really measuring. You don't really want to use a ruler to measure anything on portraits. Just kind of eyeball it, draw what you see. So then you're going to put another line all the way down that makes about the size of your circle from that, from the, uh, is that how you did it? I can't remember. Better get my, uh, hand out here on out. Line goes through this, the middle, all the way down. Okay, that's the next step. Then you're gonna find the center point between the middle of the circle and the bottom of the circle. That's where the eyes, the start of the eyes will be, okay? Then you're gonna put another line, this same distance, from the eye, center to the eyes down here, that's gonna be the bottom of the nose. Then another one from the eyes to the bottom of the circle, that's gonna be the bottom of the chin. And then again, that's gonna be you know, top of the head, bottom of the chin. Eyes kind of right in the middle here, okay? So this technique is, uh, is, a, is another good one as well. So this one, you're basically gonna start, and then there's, this will be the, the mouth right here, okay? All right, so this technique, you're gonna start with the eyes. So you're gonna get the eyes in this little eye socket area right here. This kind of has a skull kind of look to it more. This is gonna be the nose right here in the middle. These are your eyes. Okay. A lot of times you think the top of the head's too much, but that's actually how it is. Okay, it goes up that high. Um, let's see, uh, the next part, the mouth. Put the mouth in, boom. Boom, boom, mouth right there. Zygomatic arch. That's a cheekbone part coming out right there. Okay, and then you have bottom of the chin, it comes down right, right here. I think that's it. I think that's all you would do on that, that skull technique. But again, top of the head, it goes way back there. Okay? So again, I got the handout from our Van Gogh relative that did this one here for us. So we'll show you that one. It's kind of hard to read. It's definitely a right brain technique on that one. So the last one. This is, I think, the easiest way to get it. So let's watch closely on this one. And if I'm doing a portrait, this is the way I've done it now for the last 25 years or so. So this, this is the easiest way to do a portrait. Um, I, I think you may have another way if you do it. If everything's in the right spot, it works, okay? 
So this one is not a real common one, but I think it's one of the easier ones I've seen. And if you're doing a, any portrait, self-portrait, I can start this off for you. Your photo tomorrow, I'll put the, the six dots. There's gonna be six dots and that's it. You don't start with the shape of the face on this one. You always wanna think about the form and proportion of that face, but, but look what we have here. So you're gonna start with a dot. That's gonna be, these dots just easy to erase. So just one little dot, that's the top of the head, okay? The next dot, and there's no measurement. There's no, you're not using a ruler or anything for this. There's no measurement. You're just looking at who you're drawing. You're drawing Jim, you're drawing Sally or whoever. I mean, you're drawing yourself in the mirror. That's who you're looking at. So top of the head. This guy, we'll see if you can figure out who this is at the end. This is gonna be someone that you know. All right, the hairline right there, boom. The next dot, the eyebrows. This is gonna be the eyebrows right here. The next dot, what is that gonna be? The eyes. So we're not gonna come down as far, just the eyebrow. So this is gonna be the eye. Now the eyes, for this dot, I like to put a line. The only line I put, but lightly, just real light. That's to help you keep it kind of even as much as you can. So that's why I just put a lot, really light line there. The next dot, what are we talking? Bottom of the nose. Bottom of the nose. So we'll go about, about here. If something's off, we can just uh, adjust it. And then the next, you kind of skip the lips and you just skip the next one. The dot number six, the chin, bottom of the chin. Okay, so about right in here for there. So if you look at it from there to there, the eyes, you want this line to be right in the middle. From the top to there. Okay, so that's good. Now one other step before you start, this will help you get the eyes space track. So you want to get a little box right here, maybe even a triangle or a box for the nose. So kind of put this little thing right here. This will help you get the nose. Okay? So that's how you get it. Start. Now the eyes, to get them spaced right, there should be three eyes going across. One, two, three. Or the width of the bottom of the nose going up. That's going to be the space of the eyes. If you get the eyes too close or too far apart, the whole proportions will be off. So let's try to get the first eye in here. Okay? Put this eye in. And just remember what we were looking at when we are doing the two features there as you're finishing those up. Think about all those things. Teardrop, the eyelid, highlighting the pupil, some of those things. Now, we could go ahead and try to get that other shape in there first. Might as well try to get that. See if it works. Um, so this is the first part that gets hard. If you draw in a bottle, you get one side, can't get the other, this is the same, same problem either. Trying to get them even. Now here's one way I like to do it. Is, again, you want three eyes across, so we kind of go right here, just put you a little dot. Again, I didn't use a ruler, just kind of eyeball it there. All right, now, so that'll be where we're gonna start it, right here. Now the, the, the length of the eye, right here, just kind of right there. Okay, about right there. So that's gonna be about the length. Now, the another little dot I like to make, just to help keep it even, is a line for the top. Just put a little dot. And I don't put it all the way across. Line for the bottom, just a little dot like that. So I've got four little dots here to kind of help me box it in there, okay? So that's where we got it. All right, see if that'll help. And it may work, it may not. So let's see if it'll, this is close. And really the only way you can tell if you something as big is just to kind of stand back to see. It's good. So I can't see where I'm at. I went to back up this way. Um, yeah, it's fairly close, fairly close. So, all right, so I think we're good enough to go with it. All right, so let's, let's get it in there. So we'll kind of finish off some of the eyes here, okay? Here we go. So we're gonna put the Iris party in. Remember the whole eye is a circle, ball shape. Okay. Now let's just kind of get the, the pupil. Black that area. Don't forget the highlight in there. Some people are forgetting that part. Put it on the side or something like that if you can. So that's the pupil on this, this side here. Try to work all over the drawing as much as you can, not just in one little spot. This will get on any drawing. Okay. Now, the eyelid. Okay, lower eyelid. Lower eyelid in there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now the next part, let's get where the eyebrow is going to be. 
Air part, the eyebrow is going to be up here. Circular motion in there on that. Nose is coming up right here. Circle. So you can kind of pretend the light's coming from this side here. We'll make the more shadow part on this side. Now let's come back and work on the eyes a little more here. Get that white like, part of the eyes here. Shadow it in there a little bit. Put the eyelashes coming, eyelashes coming down here. And start putting a little bit of shading in here on the eyes. And there's that shadow above the, the eyelid right there. Really dark on the inside corner right there. shadow or like let's go and get the lips let's move down to the lips now so the the iris come down put a dot gonna put a dot right here at the width of the width of the the mouth is in the center of the eyes Lips, the guy on the video, he's gonna do a barrel shape. He's gonna take a, a horizontal like like cylinder. And he's gonna actually like shave that thing in there, and then he's gonna put the lips on top of it. So you'll see that in the video. Uh, how he gets it. That, that really pops them out. Okay. Um, so the lower lip. The lower lip. Let's go ahead and shade that upper lip in. I'm just gonna black that out for this particular drawing. Them. Lower lip has a on the sides, but not much to the lower lip. That big shadow coming in. We'll come back to that in a minute. I'll move down the chin a little bit. It's got this little chin box you have. The chin fits in here. Okay. Now the other feature you're looking at is the ear. So where's the where are the ear? Where's the ear at? talking eyebrows to the bottom of the nose. So about here, they're right there. Don't get the ear too far apart, too far out. You make or too close in, okay? Too far to make the face look really, really wide there, okay? But you want to know where the ear is. Even if you can't uh, see it because this person has long hair, you still want to know where that ear is at, okay? Quickly, and I'm doing more of a sketch here today. Again, if it, it, this will take you, I'm going to do it about 30 40 minutes. This is going to take you about minimum three hours to get a finished drawing really detailed. About three, anywhere from three to five days there, three to five hours to get this thing the photo and the self portrait with the mirror. Okay, now let's get the other ear. We're going to have about the same spot come across, put you a little dot here, maybe a little too far out. I'll get it too, too far. Okay. And then we'll start this one in. Okay, any questions so far? Okay. All right, 
right, so here we go. Let's get the shape of the face in. So this one, you gotta have the feature to get the shape. So here we go. So we're coming down from the ear. We'll bring that down into the chin. And we're going up. This is not the top of the head here. This is the hairline. This is the hairline. This will be a real person. Let's see if we can figure out who it is. Okay, now, we're gonna get the top of the hair, top of the head. Let's bring that in, and I'll show you how to draw the hair in a second. A little shading first. This is gonna be the top of the hair. Okay, now, again, that's how tall it goes. You know, it's easy to fix that. You always just raise it up if, you're, if your eyes aren't in the middle or you don't get the top of the head. Now, the, the crucial part, you've got to get the, um, that you got to have here, are the neck and shoulders. Now, don't just make that up. Look at it. Keep looking at the picture. Look at your photo. I mean, excuse me, look at your mirror. You know, look at your person. Don't just make this part up. It comes right off the, the side of the neck. Don't get it too narrow. Comes right off the side of the ear. Right off that line there. You got the neck coming down. Okay? Now, the shoulders. Now, a lot of people, when I've seen, they'll go like this. They'll go, just like that. That's the shoulder. It's way out of proportion. Okay? I mean, this is this this head, this side, this is gonna, the edge of the shoulder will be about right there. Take this, the head, if you turn it sideways, that's how wide the shoulder's gonna be. It's gonna be way out there. So the shoulder, and that's kind of a little curvy, kind of a little hilly looking thing like this way. Goes off the, the side as you turn that over. Okay? So the shoulder goes way out there. Let's get the collar of the shirt. Collar of the shirt now. Let's put it in like it's got a t shirt on. Got a little ring kind of thing there on the t shirt. Okay? So he's got a t shirt. Now, if you got a collared shirt, do, like in your self portrait, when you've got the mirror, do the shirt you have on that day. Don't make it up. Collar shirt's not that difficult. Think about it, just the shapes of it. Just think shapes, you'll get it. It's not as hard as you think. Now, we'll, I'll have, we'll help you with it. Now, there you go. So, you got these little, these little curves here. You don't want this to be just you know, straight across. Okay, you've got the shoulder, if there's no shirt, you got the shoulder blade, you got with the shirt, you got holes uh, in it, all that kind of thing, right? So let's, let's put that in there. And if by doing that, that'll also help you make some, some shadows, which is basically what? It's the drapery again huge technique with the drapery. So you have, you know, just put some of these, these folds in here. Okay. Now. All right, so let's get this here. Put these little lines in here. So you're gonna add details and everything. I don't have any more time to get them. I'm just quickly sketching. Okay, now, so the next thing All right, the next thing you got. Now, you want, we're down to the hard part. This is the, the hardest part of the whole thing. This is the easy part. Features, you got the, uh, you got the, uh, you got the eyes too close together, didn't it? Too close together. You know, look exactly like what I'm trying to get here. Um, so you got the feature, I mean, you got the shading. You got the portions, everything's right. Let's see if we can get, get in the, uh, the shading. So the forehead, temporal line right here. With the light coming this way, the side's gonna be pretty dark. That's not right on the edge necessarily. This, on this side as well. This is that forehead shading, okay? Can't shade too dark, remember. Cannot shade it too dark. Now, let's get into the eye sockets a little more. Okay, shadow under that lower eye there, that lower eyelid. Okay, so we're gonna get into the, uh, we're get into the, um, Cheekbone next, all right? The cheekbone, 
We're coming into this area. We're going to come in with a little curve like this. Oh, let's get the shadow under the nose first. Put the shadow on the nose. The shadow side. Shadow under the nose. We didn't put that. The shadow under the nose and the end to the side of it. That shadow coming through there. All right, so now, all right, let's go back to that cheekbone area. The hardest part of the whole thing. This cheekbone shading area. Now you can blend if, in things like this. Just be careful, you know, if you're if you're blending and stuff, because it'll all turn gray really quick on you. So don't I wouldn't do do much blending, really too much with that. But you know, be careful with that. Some people are better at it than others. But uh, see how that goes. So you got your your uh, going here now with the cheekbone. Okay, you got that little line coming down here by the lips, that big shadow under the lips right here. That kind of that chin box there with the, the uh, chin. Okay. All right, let's get that shading under that neck. Black that out. On the edge here. You find the shape of the face, the chin. Same way on this side over here. A little bit, not as dark maybe, but close. Okay. Standing back and looking a little more than I am. Okay. Here. Okay. Okay, we got that. No. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, how to draw the hair. So the hair on the handout, you have, there's a pretty good little uh, area right here about how to draw the hair. Long, straight, curvy, wavy. Yeah. So if you've got, you know, long, straight hair, just like this. Curly, wavy hair. Curly hair, maybe just a little circle, scribbles like this. Maybe you got, um, um, little short kind of cropped hair, you just got little dashes. You know, something like this if your hair is real short. Just little dash marks. Um, so you, you don't have to show the whole way it's combed, but just a little bit. But the first thing you're blocking in is some medium tones. As the handout says, you're just blocking in some medium tones. With some blocked in shapes. So you're not going to show the whole way the hook hair is combed. Just part it. Then around the edge, you're going to say, well, then the next thing you say is some white shapes. Big white shapes for big highlighted areas. So some middle grays, white shapes, and then dark shapes, and especially around the edge of the face. Again, it doesn't matter if your hair is, what color your hair is, dark brown, blonde, whatever, it's still gonna be really dark around this edge here of the face and the top of the hair. There's gonna be some dark areas there too. Around the outer edge. The highlights will kind of be in the middle more. That way. Then you show the way the hair is cold. So you may have these little lines like this. Show a little bit the way it's going. Can you tell who it is? Can you tell who it is yet? It's you, Mr. Graves. Okay, so you got this here going? <laughs> Go. Now 
I can get a kind of a background area there too. Maybe like there's a little shadow. You got standing against the wall here. A little shadow. You put a pattern, you put, you know, you may not have room for a background. A photo portrait may kind of have one in there for you. But you can get. Oh, how to do parted hair. Your hair's parted in the middle. So you gotta do a parted hair. So you have notches like this. You save a little room for the scalp. Skip a little space. For the highlight where it comes over. Again, I'll come around and we'll help you out. Make this look all good in here. Make it look three-dimensional. You want to make this look as three-dimensional as you can. Go back again, like we said, it's dark up uh, next to the face. Oh, I remember what I was going to tell the last time. I totally forgot. I need to remember that. Yeah, if you've got long hair and it's coming down, um, you're going to see, like on the side, it, on the side of your neck, it's going to be just blacked out on these sides if your hair is really long. So it's going to be really dark, like right here next to your neck, it's blacked out. And then the hair here, out here is in front of that. This hair is in front. So this part would be really dark, like right here. And uh, we'll help you get these going. We'll do our first formal critique, formal critique of the portraits. Early next week, we'll do it with the self-portrait and the photo one. And uh, so you got to get that really dark there. And walk in part of the hair, show the way part of it's comb, some highlights, shadows, stuff like that. And then. That's kind of how you get, you get the basic structure of the face shaded in. Okay? So any questions on those? All right, so now you have um, the two faces here. Um, so what one turned out the best one? What one turned out best? This one or this one? Make that one good? Okay. We'll just put them. We'll put this one there too. So, you got the two faces there. Uh, now, you're, after the new features, after the features, we brought this, after you do the features, then the next grade is just the, the photo of the actual portrait. You can practice, you know, in between there. But that's not really you know, much for us. It's very early practice. But I would probably practice it. Practice the school drawing too. And that'll help as well. And then uh, we'll get you one. And who so, was it? Huh? Who was it? The person? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Remember who it is? <laughs> <laughs> Draw them on this kind of paper as well, just two each. Or if you have them on your, your thing here, just put your name, there you go, and then put it up here and I'll add those in. We'll add those in for you. So, you good?